Hey, what's going on today, guys? Hope you guys are doing well. So in this video, I wanted to dedicate some time to talk about the tool in Interactive Brokers platform, which is called the Scale Trader. It's an interesting little tool. There's already a video that IB made about it, but I wanted to make a video myself to clear up some things. Actually, a friend of mine had some questions about it, and I kind of wanted to make a video that simplifies it and that makes it uh, so that you can understand it. Okay, so first of all, before we get started, guys, don't forget to leave a like on the video if you enjoy this content. Let's get to it. Cheers. Okay, so according to IB, this is their description. Scale Trader is a flexible trading tool that implements a sophisticated trading algorithm, allowing you to scale into a large position without being subject to increasingly deteriorating prices or to trade continually over a specified price range to capture a user defined profit offset amount. Scale Trader supports all products except for mutual funds. So a basic rundown, what Scale Trader does, you will see that it's designed to buy at lower and lower prices, therefore scale into weakness. And the opposite would be for a sell order. It's designed to sell at higher and higher prices. So in this case, I'm going to show you exactly how that works to kind of clarify how this might apply to certain trading styles and it might not apply to other trading styles. Okay, so what the scale trader is designed to do is for a buy order, it's designed to submit buy orders at lower and lower prices. Therefore, they're trying to scale in to a larger position. Therefore, they don't mind buying at lower and lower prices because they have more to buy anyways. Likewise, for a sell order, Scale Trader is designed to sell at higher and higher prices. So basically, wherever you set your starting price, that's where the order is going to start working. And then you just need to tell the system the price increments between your orders. So if I set this to five cents, what's going to happen is that the algorithm will submit orders every five cents. So in the case of a sell order, what's going to happen is let's say I want the order to start working at a price of 135. I will submit a sell order at 135. And then as soon as that order fills, there will be another sell order five cents higher. As soon as that order fills, I'll submit another sell order five cents higher until the entire order fills. Based on my position size that I selected of 5,000 shares and the component size of 100, meaning that every order is going to be 100 shares but the total position size is 5,000. So it's basically gonna be submitting sell orders of 100 shares every five cents that the price goes up. This is in the case of a sell order. So let's give another example here in the case of a buy order. Okay, so here's an example of how the scale trader will work. So let's say our trader has the intent to buy 10,000 shares of this stock. In this case, we're just gonna use Apple. He needs to specify first his 10,000 share maximum position size, and then he wants to specify the component size for each of these scale orders. So Obviously our trader doesn't wanna buy 10,000 in one shot. He's comfortable buying them in smaller block sizes. So let's say we set this to 200, meaning that our trader is going to be submitting buy orders of 200 shares at a time until his order of 10,000 is filled. Let's say I want this order to start working at 135. Just quick note here, the way you determine the starting price is relative to your method and your strategy. So I'm just putting a random starting price for the sake of this video. The starting price of your order is gonna be one of the most significant inputs here. The next thing is the increment. So do you wanna submit buy 200 shares every one cent, every two cents, every five cents, etc.? So in this case, I'll select three cents. And now you'll see how this changes. My starting price is 135 and I wanna submit a buy order every three cents that the price goes down below 135. It has now calculated a bottom price of 133.53. And if you go down here, you'll see a bit more information. So you can see if this order fills completely, my average price will be 134.26. There's a total of 50 price levels that need to fill for this order to fill completely of 10,000 shares. Now watch, if I take the initial component size and move it to 100, the bottom price decreased because now I've lowered the size of my order components. So now there's 100 orders that need to fill to fill this 10,000 share position. So you can see right away that this might be an interesting tool for somebody that has a lot to buy and they're willing to buy over the course of a few days potentially. In the other scenario, if they have a lot to sell, they want to sell into market strength. Maybe they're taking profit or maybe they're hedging you know this can apply to different trading ideas that's the fundamental description of how scale trader works so basically the trader needs to know what their maximum order size is that they're trying to fill and then they need to specify at what price the order starts working what is the distance 
between each order. So that's where there's a lot of discretion involved here and it will depend on what the trader is trying to do at the end of the day. So let's say I change the price increment to five cents. Let's just submit this order as a test. Position size is 10,000 shares. The component size is 100, meaning that each order is an order to buy 100 shares. The starting price is 135, meaning that the first order will be submitted at a price of 135. The increments between each order afterwards will be five cents below my starting price because it's a buy order. If it was a sell order, these five cent increments would be above my starting price. So watch if I change it to a sell order, okay? In order for this entire order to fill, this stock would have to move all the way down to a price of 130.05. Now, if I change this to a sell order, watch how these values change. So now that I've changed it to a sell order, what I'm specifying is that I want to start selling the stock at a price of 135 and every time one order gets filled it will submit another sell order five cents higher so in this case the starting price is 135 in order for my order to fill completely the price would have to move all the way up to 139.95 so i would be selling at higher and higher prices for a buy i would be buying at lower and lower prices all right, so that's the basis of how the scale trader works. Now, obviously, there's a few other bells and whistles here that we can talk about. Okay, so let's submit this order and see what happens. So in this case, this is a demo account. It doesn't have enough equity. So what I'm going to do is change the order size to 2100. And I'll transmit that. So now, in order to see what the order is doing, just right click on your order in whatever window you use, and then click on view scale progress. So now, in this window, you'll be able to see how this order is going to behave. So right now I've submitted a buy order that wants to buy every five cents the stock drops. So in this case, you can see there's all of these orders that have not been submitted yet. So basically what's going to happen is as soon as the first one fills, the next one will be submitted and that will continue until the whole order has filled. We're going to explore the next feature in the scale trader, which is the ability to submit profit orders on the opposite side of the market. So I'll just show you how this works. First, you check this box, create profit taking order. Then you just have to select the offset, which is essentially how far away from your order component do you want to submit a profit taking order? So let's say I select five cents. So let's take a look at how this behaves now. Okay, so you can see that the order is exactly the same, except that now when an order fills at 135, it will do two things. It's going to submit the next buy at 134.95, but at the same time, it's going to submit a sell limit at 135.05, and that's all that's gonna happen. There's also this feature to restore size after taking profit, and basically what this does, if you read their manual, it says that once a profit order fills, it will resubmit that size at the last price that you had a buy order. So for example, you fill the first one at 135, then you get it filled on a profit taker at 05. After that fills, if you check the restore size after taking profit, it's going to resubmit a buy order at 135 another time. And then the order will continue to work. This could be a way that a trader will use to continually lower their average price. So for example, let's say the market is trending down and the trader intends to buy into weakness. He can submit opposing side profit taking orders to take profit on portions of that position and then resubmit orders lower. So he essentially what he's doing is his intent is to buy, but because he's putting profit taking orders, he's actually able to continually lower and lower his average price a little bit more every time. That could be useful for a trader who intends to buy a large amount as the market is experiencing weakness. At the same time, he's able to take advantage of selling some on the opposite side of the market before the market likely comes back down to trigger his other buy order. All right, so I've set up a scale order just as a test here because the market's open now. It's a holiday. The market's moving very slowly, but we'll see if this works. I've set it up to work on the micro e-mini NASDAQ contract here. And basically I'm setting a price increment of one tick uh, for buy orders. I wanna buy 10 contracts and I am setting a profit taking of two ticks. So let's see what happens here. If I transmit this, so I'm actually gonna move the order price up a little bit. And on this quote board here, you're actually seeing delayed quotes. I have the live price on my other screen, so don't look at this info. All right, so what we're seeing now is that some of my orders are being filled here. Six out of the 10 contracts have now filled as the market is going lower into my price. And what we're gonna do is look at the scale progress here. And what we can see is that I'm now working sell orders at 59 and above. 
and I still have a few buy orders that I'm working at 58 quarter so we'll see how the market trades here the market's pretty slow today so there's no guarantee that any of this will work but you can see that this scale trader is allowing me to work orders on both sides of the market which is interesting actually if you try to do this in your account so on some products ib systems will tell you that your account is not eligible to have buy side and sell side orders at the same time because you're not a registered market maker that's kind of weird because you should be able to put buys and sells at the same time but maybe not so i don't know okay so just to update what we are seeing right now is that my order has filled completely and i do still have profit taking orders that are trying to get a fill at 858 and a quarter here and this is just a test order so you can see that the scale order worked i was able to take profit on some contracts on an uptick there and now this sell order to take profit is still in the market now just for the case of this order i didn't actually have the restore size function there which is why when the order filled and the profit takers filled, it didn't resubmit buy orders where they were originally. If you do click on the restore size button, it will put your order back where you originally had it after taking the profit. So scale trader can also be used to do spread trading. So in this case, at the top, go to pair. And now what you're gonna be able to do is buy one instrument and sell another that's called spread trading this is a technique used by institutions so for example let's say you wanted to buy one stock and sell another unfortunately we're not going to cover this in this video because it's quite technical all right guys so in this video i just gave you a rundown of how scale trader works i hope this helped you and if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comment section below all right i wish you guys the best take care bye